The mayor's parlour at City Hall served as the meeting point for two cultures who've intertwined for centuries. The purpose was to officiate the relationship between Gibraltar and Tangier and propel it forward with renewed vigour and energy. The mayor of Tangier, Munir Limuri, and Gibraltar's mayor, Carmen Gomez, signed a memorandum of understanding. Spanish gate that closed in 1969. Had it not been for them, goodness knows what trouble we would have got ourselves into. And uh, sometimes we take things for granted, but uh, they were very important days, important for us and important, I'm sure, for them later in life. The mayor of Tangier said the MOU would open new doors and strengthen the relationship. The MOU is not legally binding, meaning it depends on the goodwill of both sides to further develop it. And many say this goodwill has already been at work for a number of years. And I've been working for about three years because I moved to Tangiers in 2019, started in 2020, we had COVID and it's taken us a good three years to get where we are. We've been involved in many meetings in Tangier with the mayor himself. So today, imagine, is the culmination of three years' work. And cultural services, which have been organising many events with their counterparts. We've been working now for over a year now with, the, with Tangier and with the Gibraltar Morocco Business Association. We've been organising various exhibitions and residencies in Tangier. Now what we're going to do is in, in February there will be an exhibition in Gibraltar. The MOU has been described as valuable and necessary by guests at the event. Gibraltar y Marruecos son una cosa, separados por el mar, pero juntos en corazones y en muchas cosas, rey. Among them, a cousin of the King of Morocco. So in the old days, Gibraltar was another neighborhood of the Straits of Gibraltar. So we used to come every week to Gibraltar. It was easy, we had the boat every day, so it was part of our culture. We used to watch the British television, the Gibraltarian television. So I think Moroccans, nowadays, they will be very, very interested to discover or rediscover Gibraltar. The new post-Brexit scenario requires Gibraltar to find new allies and opportunities. In its new term, the GSLP Liberal Alliance government has reinstated the value and need for this. John Cortés has been appointed a new responsibility. I'm really excited as a minister now with the responsibility for relations with our southern neighbours. This is the beginning, the extension of something big, lots of exchanges, lots of plans, so we're going to do great things with our neighbours.